for people living in this, my name is Snipe, and today I'll be showing you how to do fire hands. So first, um, you need your base footage. You should probably have like uh, some black duct tape or a piece of paper. I have a piece of paper here, just something that sticks out from your hand. Um, now you need your fire footage. You can get this from footagecrate.com. Uh, they'll have it in the action slash horror section. Uh, and I'll set this to screen so it'll take away the black. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to layer, new, and the object. So this will store all of your uh, motion tracking. Okay. Yours should be just called no. Okay, so now uh, you need to get your tracker on here. It should already be here, but if it's not, just... Go to window and uh, select your tracker and put it on your window. Okay, so now select this and you're going to track this piece of paper. So track motion. And I'll just put this, put it somewhere on the center that's really bright. That'll probably work the best. And start it. See, it kind of messed up on mine, so you just got to. Um, Try to put it at a different place until it works really well. Okay, I'm sorry that took so long for me to figure that out. But you, uh, just keep trying if it doesn't work uh, until you're satisfied with the results of the tracking. So press apply. And okay. So now um, we're pretty much done. Now uh, you need to strike the fire to the null. So now they are connected. Uh, now strike your fire and probably put it on top of the put it on top of the place that you want it to be. Also cover up that um, paper. So now it is tracked on. And it will follow your hand everywhere. Oh, I can make this a little wider. Or you can make it look however you want now. And it'll just stay at one place. It will follow the piece of paper. And it looks really cool. So now, uh, what you're going to do to make the fire effect look really good, you're going to click on this and press Command Z if you're on the Mac uh, to duplicate it. Now, I'm not really sure how to do that on the PC, but just duplicate your base footage and then press Add. Now, uh, mask out the places that might be heightened by the uh, fire. And now my body can make this even lighter, even though it's already pretty light. Now, I'm Some parts back here around the flame. And around the wall. So and once you have enough masks, um select all of them and bring feathering up. That looks realistic. And now what you can do is um Mess around with the opacity so that once it flickers around, it will look realistic. And do that by pressing P. And add some keyframes. So, uh, however it flickers around, just add a keyframe, make it brighter. It doesn't have to be really exact, but just, you know, uh, make it flicker. So. But if you want to spend a lot of time on that, whenever the flame goes up or down, you can change it. Uh, I'm not going to do too much of that. Or just make it flicker a little bit. It'll look better. So whenever you got all that done, it should look pretty good. Or you can add one for every single frame, which I did with uh, another video. It, it takes way longer. If anybody knows how to like um, shorten that process down, process down and make it like quicker or thicker or thick, uh, please tell me. <laughs> so yeah, that's 
pretty much it. Now you can preview it. See if the pixels are any smaller if you do that. Uh, yeah, and that is it. And I will see you guys later, maybe this week or somewhere around next week. Uh, goodbye.